think they sell the little ice uh, snowshoes at the store. Right here? Yeah. They do it in where we're going. What's that? I'll probably have to get some wine. Shops, they just sell them up front, but you go inside. I don't know if they're going to be open this hour. Let's check the little shop. Oh, yeah. the I'm shop. going to the gym. Oh, let's go. And yeah, so, uh, Joe, you, know, you sell a uh, snow spike. Yeah, you know, for a shoe, the snow. Yeah, but we don't have No, okay, come some of You were right. Is it hard always being right? Hi, I'm Felix Mena, and welcome to another great episode of HeyDon'tShoot.com. Today we're at Mount Dobong Sun, which you see behind you there. The idea of this morning was to wake up and shoot some photos of the sunrise, but two things happened. One, we didn't wake up on time, and two, it's kind of a crappy day for a sunrise shoot anyways. But we're going to make the best of it today because we're going to use today as our kind of our recon, our reconnaissance for the next time we come out here and we think we might be able to get into a good spot up on that mountain and get some sunset shots of the jagged peaks behind. So if you were with us last time we went out to Inchon Beach and uh, photographed uh, the sunset there uh, and I videotaped Turner shooting the sunset and today we're going to do the same thing I think uh, try to get some shots of that those jagged peaks. So you're kind of just with us today on a reconnaissance which is a very important part of photography because we've never been here before and we don't even know how to get up there so it should be fun. So if I remember correctly, once you get up here on the trails, they're they're marked in terms of like how to get out and how to which direction to go. But I think we're on the right track. See, it's this way, and there's two people holding hands and hiking. So, see, look at that bunker. We started up the mountain with only a general idea of where we were going and how we were going to get there. We highly recommend that you have a map, cell phone, food, and water before setting out on a hiking excursion like this one. So should we go down, cross the stream, and then left? Which way do we go? What is that supposed to mean? We ended up walking about two kilometers around the base of the mountain before we found the correct trail that would take us on our ascent up to the top. Fortunately, the trails on Mount Dobangsan are marked clearly, and we felt a sense of security as we passed other hikers along the way. Still, we had no idea what awaited us or how difficult the hike would be. It was fairly challenging, with a few sections of near vertical climbs, and icy conditions didn't help. Hey, be really careful, man. Especially right here. Get down. I'm down. Whatever's dangerous, I'm down. Yeah. Go 
Let me get them out first. Oh, that's sketch. That's so sketchy. Here you got some good food, some cold beer. After this. This is our last point, man. You know? Where else are we gonna go? Yeah, that's probably it. It's probably money. If not, you know. I mean, but if, if you're nervous, man, we're gonna we're gonna go back down. I don't even know where I'm going. Alright, I'm flat. Yeah, look, look, all I have to get up is that right there. So sketch. Go up the sidewall right here. We can get a whoa. We can get a grip. We made it. So sketch. So sketch. It's gotta be on the way down. That's pretty bad. It's not really, not, it's not dangerous if you slide down it. Unless you get clipped by the tree at the bottom. Step on an old landmine out here. Yeah. Might. Might need to. So one of us can go back, tell the story. Yeah, right? I hope if I die, it's on camera. Something's, something's been up here. Those are hooves. We got something. I don't know how, how great. Oh, is that the rock face? Are we above the goddamn thing? Are we gonna wanna do this again? insurance you want me to go first we're not gonna fall dude this is I think this is easier than the last one because there's no ice on this one very little anyways so you should be able to get a good foot you know as you can see, we had to hike and climb quite a ways up the mountain to get to a good vantage point for photos. But time after time, as we got to the top of a peak, we discovered that there was yet another peak we had to climb. We had no choice but to continue on. The day was filled with a lot of highs and lows. Can you see the peaks?
Well, the trouble is I don't think we can go any farther. Dude, I don't know. If we could just, like this hill, next hill, if we could get rid of that, we'd have our shot. I mean, I, I could get some really good stuff still. Took us two and a half hours. It's not bad. Well, this is not technically the end of the trail. The trail continues. I don't want to get too close to the edge. Down there. But we don't, we're not equipped, and it looks pretty dangerous. Pretty hairy. I don't know how much more trail there is around up to that next peak but that's kind of where we wanted to go let me get over here you can just see the edge of where the fucking cliffs start that we want to take pictures of man so, all right so we are near the top of mount dobangsan and we've taken the trail about as far as it goes it, it continues on a little bit further but it's kind of sketchy and we're not even sure if it's going to get us to a, a vantage point where we can take a picture of the jagged peaks so we've decided to stop here uh, for safety reasons and uh, we, we're just not sure if it's worth the uh, the risk of continuing on plus we're not really well equipped for a serious like rock climb hike um, but we've done pretty good so far so we've set up shop up here Turner's got his man Frodo uh, tripod over there I've got my bike bikey Beaky, I don't know how it's pronounced tripod uh, I've got a time-lapse going uh, over here with my uh, iPhone using the hyperlapse app and I've got a time-lapse going on the rock over there with my Sony action cam just of us uh, taking pictures and whatnot here so the idea as I mentioned before was to get to a vantage point where we could take some shots of the jagged peaks uh, behind us here and just this next hill blocks the vantage point so we're kind of stuck but that happens with uh, landscape photography sometimes you hike to a point and it just doesn't uh, have to offer what you want and you gotta make the best of it so we're gonna make the best of it here but it's got pretty good views if you look behind you there if you spin that camera around we're way up here you got a shot of the city of Weijambu over there that's pretty cool and then uh, I'm gonna zoom in here in a minute there's a Buddhist temple way up on the hill there uh, I don't know how you even get to it or how it was built, but I'm going to zoom in on it here in a minute. You got it? I got it. Mm -hmm. So there's some cool stuff to see up here. Definitely was, was worth the uh, the hike. It was challenging. We burned some calories. So it's looking pretty cool. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So now that we've gotten here and we've seen what we've got to work with and what we don't have to work with, you have determined that the best course of action to get the best shots is to do some black and white photography yes. from here with the big stopper. Yeah, it's gonna, I think it's going to look good. And oh. you decide that because the clouds, right? Got some clouds to work with. Oh, so it's winter. I think winter time is a good time to do excellent black, time and to black and white. We got plenty of snow. You see, last winter I wasn't, I wasn't shooting landscape photography. I really now I've got the full kit. I feel confident I can shoot some good landscapes. Now I've got the Nikkor 16 to 35 F4. Uh, I upgraded a full frame. Was about a year ago. Yeah. And um, so it's a Nikon D610. Yep. I've got a couple good cables. Uh, I bought used, which all of this is actually used. You bought the D610 used? D610s refurbished. Yeah. Uh, 16 that. to 35 is used. Uh, Lee big filter or a uh, big stopper that's used so i got good deals on all that's that. the way to save money i always tell people now you're yeah. you're opening up an app on here what's yep. that app called uh there's a lot of apps you can use for what i'm about to do but it's called trigger trap i actually got a trigger trap uh cable release in my bag and what does the trigger trap app do <clears throat> uh it does a lot of things you can do time lapse you can set up time lapse on the app uh simple cable release what are you going to use it um, for today I'm just gonna use my ND calculator. It's actually got two, which is pretty cool. Uh, sunset and sunrise. Um, uh, what would you call it? I don't know, it just tells you. Yeah. Tells you what, wherever you are, 
when the sunset's gonna be. So I'm gonna set this up, ND filter strength. This is 10 stop. And my my So exposure. you're using the calculator right now? Yeah. Alright, so we got the big stopper back on here again. So it's telling me I need with the exposure of one two fiftieth or two fiftieth of a second to be at four seconds. So it's just gonna give me a a general idea. It's usually not spot on. I usually do it a little bit longer. Of how long the exposure should be. Right, so I'm gonna do like six seconds. Clouds. Okay, let me get out of the way. Alright, okay. Explain. Alright, so I've got it set up. Big stopper, wide angle, lens, cable release, sturdy tripod, mirror up. All right, and I'm at uh, ISO 200, uh, F11, and six seconds. So, so you're ready to take a shot. Yes, All and right. it's this is important too. I've got my focus before I put on my big stopper, so it's on manual focus. Yeah, so. because there's no way to focus after you put the big stopper on it. Right. Because you just can't see anything. So every time with that big stopper, it seems like every time you shoot with it, there's going to be a little trial and error. Yeah, and I definitely like some chimping going on, which, oh, and I forgot to point out, you need the back viewfinder covered. And, you know, I've watched videos too, people putting their hand over here, make sure, because I mean, it, the way it fits, it fits just like, you know, right there on the edge where if it's down just a tiny bit, there's a little opening and when light gets in there, it'll put this like nasty line across your photo and yeah. doing everything you can't can't fix it after that's done but now we're gonna wait now i don't have any clouds i mean i don't have that one in the shot so oh we have some friends with us before too long a number of other hikers found their way to where we were set up and much to our surprise they continued hiking the trail that turner and i had deemed too dangerous to continue on at that point, we both shared the same thought. If they could do it, we could do it. Turner had brought along his snow hiking spikes, but I didn't have any. Being the friend that he is, he loaned me one of his so that we each had one. It wasn't the safest thing to do, but we had no other choice. We packed up our gear and continued on yet again. hike to that next ridge. So what's going on YouTubers? Uh, this is Hey Don't Shoot. And we made it to exactly where we want to be. The top of uh, Mount Dobong Song, South Korea. This is the shot we were wanting. We keep stopping and thinking that hey, this is it. This is what, what we came for. But I think we finally made it. And, uh, this is be an awesome shot. Needless to say, it wasn't the shot we were looking for, and we had to continue on yet again. On our way, found one good spot, but we don't think it's good enough. Well, I thought it was good enough, but uh, Felix didn't think it was good enough. So we're going to keep going. All by itself. All right there. That giant rock face we see every time we travel down the soul. Finally made it up. And this is a great shot. I'm gonna go up a little further since yeah. there's something on the other side of this rock. Ugh. That 
other spot, the other spot. That, that, that rock is in the way. After two and a half hours of hiking, we finally made it to the spot that we had been looking for all day. We made it. We did it. Yeah, it's the fourth time I've said that. We've yeah. made it. All right, hey, what's up? So, the last time we spoke, we were down the hill a few hundred meters, the mountain, and uh, that was as far as we were gonna go. We said, safety-wise, that's as far as we should go. We had no idea uh, what the conditions were gonna be like to get up further, but eventually we said, to hell with it, we're gonna go. It, we weren't really getting great shots over there, and I mean, there just wasn't much to take pictures of. So we said, hell with it, let's go. Uh, and so we did. So we went another couple hundred meters up and sure enough, we found this spot. We're sitting basically on top of the, the mountain as far as we can go uh, with the peaks in the background that we wanted to take pictures of. And this is what we had in mind when we started hiking this morning. So we found a good spot. We're actually sitting on top of a bunker, a military bunker that's probably been here since the Korean War. And uh, we're up pretty high. It's kind of a precarious spot. There's not much room to work around, but it's uh, solid. And uh, we might get some good shots of those uh, jagged rock peaks back there. So uh, Turner's gonna set up his camera and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna shoot some pictures here and see what we get. Gonna go right behind that cloud, dude. How long is the exposure on this one? I can go for 45 seconds. Oh. I don't know why. If it's. If it's not. If it's uh, overexposed, I'll still have a little while. But while these clouds are rolling in like that, they're rolling in pretty fast. Should turn out. I like for them to be colors. It's just so hazy. But there's, there's not a lot of color. There's no color at all. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a good black one. Finally, it's looking up, looking up for us right now. The weather on that particular day didn't present us with the best conditions for shooting, but it didn't matter. What Turner and I learned that day was that sometimes the best part of a day of shooting photography isn't the photography at all. Sometimes it's a sense of accomplishment, like on this day, of the trek up the mountain, the joy of friendship and the shared experience. It was a great day. Next time I'll know to bring my own snow hiking spikes, extra gloves, as well as more food and water. And as it was, some of the best photos we took that day weren't even of the jagged mountain peaks, but were the photos that we took of each other. I'm really fortunate to have a great friend like Turner to climb up a mountain with. The hike was a good metaphor for the challenges and the ups and downs that we will all face, not just with photography, but also with life. And just like Turner and I discovered, when you think you've reached a peak, there's another one even higher that you'll have to climb to get to where you want to go. Keep climbing your mountains and keep on shooting. Thanks for watching this episode of Hey Don't Shoot, and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for the next episode of Hey Don't Shoot, when we take another shot.
the ultimate cheating, your cheating nature. Yes, I do. I should be good at keeping my head still from all those years in band, because in band, you have to keep your head still when you march. Yeah, don't tell anyone. Dude, I'm gonna grow, I know I'm gonna grow a beard for like the first few months I get out of the military. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grow a beard until I have to get a job that tells me I can't have it. How much do you eat sale? Do they give cash back on ATM cards? Oh, you're supposed to say action. Oh, okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, got the mount. Action. Say action before, before <laughs> like, so. And you say, oh. Did he have his dick out? <laughs> I guess if you live up here in the mountains, you can have your dick out anytime you want. Oh, yeah. Well, we've just come to a photo point. That's what it looks like here. This is where they recommend taking a photo. Oh, goodness. Take a picture of me. Yeah. Does it look good? Make <laughs> sure my butt crack ain't showing. Okay, what does this say? This looks like they're saying stop. Well, that's a trail. I think that like, don't go that way. Don't go Slip up there on that ice. I like this because if I fall, I might have a chance to just break my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not back in 15 minutes, I'll go, hey, I'll go, caw -caw, caw -caw. Maybe we didn't do it for a reason. You got a white rim around your mouth. I do? Yeah, like from the chapstick. There you go. That's awesome. There's another one. There's a big spot. I just didn't want that. Come back and you look at the video. Man, why do you tell me there's fucking white shit all over my lips? Come on my mouth. <laughs> These Korean hikers are ruining my audio. <laughs> I'd only push you off if uh, you had already added me to your insurance. I'd be like, yeah, he slipped. It sucks. It's as if that mountain is the border between decent looking sky and haze. It is. It's like, that's pooey. That was epic. I want to take a picture of his on the other side. We gotta get to the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks pretty cool. I like it. You got the big stopper on there again, right? Yep, you got the big stopper on there. But we did it. So you've got your shoes off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, drying the feet. Feet are hurting. Got my socks drying right here. Will they get a bunch of snow on them? No, they're just sweaty. Some old socks. Shout out to my brother Nick. I think these were uh, Nicholas Clements from way back when. They made it all the way to South Korea, dude. Climbed the giant fucking mountain. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs>